Hey guys, I'm Leslie. I'm part of the UNT21 squad. Um, I just attended orientation and I filmed a couple of clips for you guys. So I will insert them after this intro and then I'll talk more in depth about my experience and things I did, any advice. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm going to be talking about the days in depth now. So on day one, we checked in. Girl stayed at Rollins, guys stayed at Clark, I believe. Um, I did like a mini room tour, so yeah. Then we had a resource fair. Um, we learned a lot about like the services that are offered at UNT. So like there's counseling, um, you can get like certain medical services offered to you since they're already in like with they're already you're already paying for them basically with your tuition um they have a multicultural center which i thought was pretty cool so basically they have um organizations for students of color for um lgbtq plus students like students with disabilities everything so that was really really cool uh after that we had like a welcome so they just talked about like the school's i guess um mission we learned the alma mater, the fight song, and then we got split into groups. So my group was group 22. <laughs> um, it was super fun. We did icebreakers, obviously. That's like the first thing you do. Uh, that was kind of awkward, but honestly, like, no one knows each other. So, like, everyone's equally, like, weird. <laughs> like, about it. So, yeah. Um, then we had dinner in Kerr Hall. So... The food is, like, not as bad as people say it is. It's pretty, like, okay, like, it's obviously, like, a buffet style, so you just kind of look around, choose what you want. Um, then we had our small group meeting, too. So the first one was when we did icebreakers. Um, this is basically the time to ask your orientation leader any questions you have. So whether that be about financial aid, their experience, um, where to get the best food on campus, it's 
whatever you want to ask them, this is the time to do so. Now my favorite part was Playfair. So basically all the students who are attending the orientation you are um, get together in the Coliseum and you just play like a bunch of games and you get to meet a lot of people and at first I was kind of iffy because I'm not like super extroverted and meeting new people is kind of like hard for me in a way but this was super fun like everyone was having a great time I believe I have like my um person orientation book so let me look into it right it was from 9 to 11 uh, but it did not feel like it was two hours long like at all it was so much fun we played like um ultimate rock paper scissors so you probably saw like that clip and stuff but yeah um definitely it's over at 11 and then they have like something else but if like you're tired like I was then you can just go to your dorm and chill and yeah so that was basically day one super fun super informative um every day was more informative than the last one so this is a really good time to ask questions um if you have any doubts they will be solved <laughs> during orientation like I left feeling like super good about everything like I don't feel nervous anymore I guess so yeah now on to day two so day two was the longest we woke up at well breakfast was from 7 to 8 15 so we did that then we had our uh small group meeting three I can't remember exactly what we talked about but like I said it's always super informative like your orientation leader will tell you like oh I believe it was like about clubs and organizations that you should join so yeah um that was that then we had our sessions okay so this is like the part that um well no it was like one of the important parts of day two so for example i went to a study abroad session an emerald eagle scholar session and then i toured the library so those are just three of like the many things you could do everyone had to do three sessions um these are really informative especially especially if you're thinking about like doing one of these things so like i went to the study abroad session because i want to study abroad at one point um they had like exploring your major options getting involved honors college advising uh, student employment basics so from like your little book you get to pick the three that you really want to attend learn more about them you can ask questions uh like there it's very one-on-one -on -one. um there wasn't a lot of people in every session so everyone's questions were basically answered some sessions are mandatory so if you're an emerald eagle scholar you have to go to the emerald eagle scholar um session and then if you're I believe in the honors college you have to go um, just because they give like super vital information and if you like miss out on it then it's like you're gonna be really confused um, yeah after that we had lunch Kerr Hall same thing pretty like straightforward then academic planning okay I cannot stress enough how important it is to pay attention so you're in there we were in there for like three hours I think it was and they break you up into the college so obviously there's like UNT but then there's like colleges so like there's a college of journalism and then the college of like I don't know engineering stuff like that so you go with peers I am a psychology major so I'm um, for the it's called a class so it's the college of liberal arts and social sciences um, we got split up because our groups were really big so psychology majors went like by themselves to get advising um it's three hours long but I literally took notes like I took a journal and took notes because I'm the type of person that forgets everything and I wanted to make sure like I knew what was going on so um yeah we talked about like the things that psychology majors have to take um obviously it's different based on what you're majoring in but we talked we talked about like the requirements uh prerequisites Pre prerequisites to um what's it called declaring your major stuff like that any like interesting classes that you should take as a psych major I only have to take one stats uh, class or one math class which is stats and I was very happy about that um but on the other hand I have to take I believe it was four four or 
Oh, it's 12 hours. Um, 12 hours of a language. However, I got a 5 on my AP um, Spanish language test, so I don't have to take that. Um, but it just differs really based on your major. And they'll like tell you like, if I were you, I would take this this year, and then maybe this next semester, and then so and so. So, I mean, it was three hours, but this was like super, super important information. Just like a lot of the stuff we learned, like a lot of it was like really important. So even though it's like you're there to learn this stuff, like you paid $200 to learn this stuff. So I would definitely like take notes, write stuff down, ask questions if you're like really confused. And yeah, so that's what we did. Then we went to dinner, then we went to an organization fair. So the organization fair, great time to learn about new clubs, or organizations, anything you might want to join while you're in college. This is a time definitely be involved like I'm not just going to college to like just get an education I also want to like meet new people I want to socialize and you know I want to have that experience so don't like I guess waste your time in college like not socializing or anything do stuff that's out of your comfort zone um, if anything like join things that you find really interesting and yeah um then we went to this thing called get connected so it was like really cheesy <laughs> but um yeah one of the cool things was though that um each group had a chant and that was like when we um like showed everyone else and yeah it was pretty entertaining i mean it was a like good time to just like chill like we were all just sitting down um and we do a lot of walking oh my goodness we do so much walking so don't worry you're like brand new white bands because you will get blisters and you will die like quote me on that okay i wore like my ugly broken in um converse and it was the best decision i made because we walked so much so yeah uh then we toured uh the stadium um yeah it was basically like a far walk and then we took our like group pictures or whatever and yeah, that was basically the end for day two. I mean, you could like social, they had like a certain thing um, afterwards, but it was so late. I was so tired. We had done so much walking that I was just ready to go to sleep. So if you're sensing a reoccurring pattern is that I sleep very early. <laughs> so being out and about at like 11 p.m. is like not my thing. So yeah, that was day two. Last but not least was day three. So breakfast small group meeting um then from 9 30 to 11 30 i believe there was different things going on so tsi if um you didn't get like a 23 on your act i believe is what like the the thing you need to get is um the score there we go then you have to take the tsi um it's like a placement test i believe you, you have to take it if you're not exempt so this is the time you could do that also language placement exams um uh also occurred during this time so if you're like fluent in spanish um but didn't take ap spanish or just don't want to send you don't want to pay the 15 dollars um from college board to send your scores in you could take the placement test um and then it like knocks out the levels of the language you know they had spanish italian latin french I believe they had sign language as well. It was basically a lot of stuff going on. So, yeah. Um, they also had a oh, math placement test. So, usually, like, if you're an engineer major, I believe, an engineering major, um, and you want to know, like, what math you should start at, or really any major, um, then you would have to take the math placement test. Then they had open houses at like the Eagle Student Service Center. I got my ID taken. Um, you can check the status of your financial aid or just talk to the Eagle Ambassador and get information on campus tours. They had stuff going on at the Student Health and Wellness Center, the University Union, Willis Library, and the Office of Disability Accommodations. So yeah, there was a lot of stuff going on uh, during this time. Then we went to lunch and then we did dismissing to advising. So basically during this time you kind of like um well first you go with like the college again or 
like I was I had to go with all the psychology majors and we actually got to hear um, from like the head of the department and they basically told us you should take this um, do this 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 you know like they talked to us about like grad school and medical school um, basically like the like detailed part of your major um, they tell you what classes you should take and then after that you pick your classes now <laughs> got enrolled in all my classes so my schedule is actually looking pretty good like my first class Monday Wednesday and Friday is at like 9 30 which I don't mind like I I kind of like waking up early so it's whatever um, but not like 7 early um, so thank you guys so much for watching. I'm really sorry about the background noise. There's like a lot of socializing going on in my living room. Um, but yeah, you guys will definitely be seeing um, way more videos from me in the not so distant future. Hopefully um, in the summer sometime I'll film a video um, just about me so you guys get to know me. Um, I will leave my social media in the down bar. Uh, yeah, so I hope this was informative. Um, if anything, I guess, somewhat entertaining to watch. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you later. Go Mean Green!